Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs, where today I've relied on my excellent decision-making skills to purchase the rustiest square body Chevy I think I've ever seen. Here we go again. So this is in the same building that we pulled the uh, Daytona for Phoenix's channel and the Blazer out of. The Blazer was just on the other side of this wall. I don't know a thing about this. It's been sitting here for what appears to be two or three forevers. And <laughs> someone got their money out of it. When I say this is the rustiest square body I've ever seen, I mean it. Like, there's nothing, nothing left. <laughs> the cab corners are long gone. The doors do, oh, <laughs> there's nothing there for rocker. It is just absent. Fenders are completely gone. Motor's somehow still attached to what resembles to maybe have once been a frame. And up front, the reason we bought it really is this nice Hineker plow. Pretty much paid full price for this and unfortunately got this part attached to it. So we're gonna see if we can get this thing to maybe spin over, maybe fire, maybe run. Definitely at least pull it out all the way now that we have a clear path, get it on trailer and get it back to the shop or something. Without further ado, I say we uh, go grab ourselves a battery and throw it in here and see what happens. It's a shame this thing's so rusty because I think it would have been a really cool truck. It's a short bed step side four by four with what I'm assuming is a 350 and probably a 350 trans, but then it has uh, some white racing stripes like around the fenders and on the hood, which are now brown rust holes, but once upon a time there were stripes. Wow. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say the battery tray is good, but then I realized it's actually just a piece of wood. That makes more sense. Is it gonna do Chevy things and not let me put a full-size battery that everyone else used in? Yes. <laughs> Dang it. Well, let's move to the slightly more inside. <laughs> Off. <laughs> Okay, well, this truck has a key, but it does specifically nothing. What the hell? Oh, it's a it's a sport, it says on the dash, which you can't see because it's so dark in here. All right, so I'm not horribly familiar with these Chevys, but I stared at this long enough and figured it out. I also found this little fork. Basically, I'm gonna shove this fork in this little slot and push it all over and see if we crank. Come on, girl. Oh, it's trying. Oh, it's not happy. Oh, it did not like it. But it did crank. Things aren't looking great, at least not for getting it running here. I think we need to change gears to get air in the tires and trying to get this thing out to where we have more tools, more amperage, and way more light. Let's make that happen. All right, uh, I haven't had good luck with tires out here, but maybe this one will be different. Come on, yes, this is what we want. frame doesn't have any massive holes, so it looks like the body definitely went first. Well, it's not moving at 20 PSI, so I'm gonna call that good. Well, for the first time on the property, all four tires took air. So, we're gonna back the truck right in here and winch this thing on the trailer and hope that the plow comes out of the ground, because it's, you can't see it very well, but it is, uh, it's buried over there. <laughs> Welcome to Junkyard Digs, now with cool vignette visual effects, because the camera lens froze. Let's see if this thing comes out of the hole. I'm gonna put my money on no, but I don't have a choice, so. Yes, 
on this damn thing with that plow. We're wondering if three dudes we can get it bouncing and just bring it over. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, that absolutely sucked, and it was about 115% of what our winch could do, but it's up here. And our waiting is terrible, and it's going to be a really fun drive home. Is that topper bolted down? Do we ever check that? Yeah. Should be good. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, we're on the road. More vignette effect here, as you can see. I'm gonna dump this some bitch out in the trees somewhere and we'll be back to it in a number of months because that thing was a pain in the ass to get on a trailer. I'm not doing that twice. Uh, we'll work on it one tomorrow probably. See you guys then. All right, it's been a year. I have no idea where we left off with this truck, but today we're gonna start working on the K10 again because I finally figured out what to do with it or more appropriately, who to have what to do with it. Does that make sense? No. You guys aren't aware of this right here is Dalton from Pull Barn Garage. He's an up and coming channel, good friend of mine uh, out of Missouri, just three hours south down by Kansas City area. And he is a big Chevy guy. He's come up for the weekend to play with some cars and we decided this is the perfect candidate because then when I'm done with it, it's your problem. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know if we've really even looked at this truck so we should probably start with that. I yeah, suppose. Maybe a walk around. Uh, this is a 77. Chevy Sport, supposedly. At least the stripes are. We, we, it's not really easy to verify that. The hood, the doors, this fender all have what looks to be original Sport decals on it. And that makes this exceedingly rare. Yeah. If you Google this, you will find one picture of a black and white 77 Chevy Sport that is hand drawn in a brochure. And if you scroll way down, you'll find a second picture of an actual truck. Oh. Oh, <laughs> let's do that again. Dude, it moves the whole cab. I could probably rip this truck off <laughs> like the Incredible Hulk. It does have seemingly an okay frame. Yeah, it looks like A 350 right. four-wheel drive step side truck and in, in and of itself is pretty valuable, I think, maybe. The mags are pretty cool. The I mean, mags those, yeah. are cool. Those are slick. This might, it's got a Holly on it, so it's already looking up. Oh, uh, it's a performance machine, you can tell. Yep. You know? Probably means it's gonna have stuffed needles and seat and not work with the crap. 100% gonna be just pouring out of the vent yeah. tubes. <laughs> Blowing power valves and What's accelerator this? pump. Oh. That's original GM Goodwrench power steering fluid right there. Oh, there's some this in still it. in there. It's got a really nice Hineker plow on it that we're definitely going to take off. I'll hang on to that, and then Dalton's going to take the truck. I'm going to say it right now already. Make sure you subscribe to his channel to see the rest of this build. Oh, ah, is this what you're in? Yeah, factory lightweight, actually. Drag truck. Drag oh, it's pack. a sport model. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stripper. <laughs> yeah, this thing is very rough. Like, you'd probably need to put a whole new truck on top of this frame and then call it a sport. I don't know. It's not something I do. You do a bit of body work, so that's... Yeah. I think it's restorable. It's just take a little bit of uh, everything. And it's got cruise control. Does it really? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty high pretty option well truck. Yeah. It would have had AC, right? Is uh -huh. that the bracket for it? Yeah, AC, power Four brakes, barrel. power steering. Yeah, this would have been an awesome truck. Oh, it's already, somebody's already... Uh, yeah, they've already... Oh, they've braced it already? <laughs> Is it that? Those Whoa. are supposed... That's supposed to go under the hinge. They braced oh. it in the wrong spot. It kinks back here, not it's up here. right here where it's kinked. <laughs> Well, we've got a battery. Let's hook it up and see what happens. All right. Perfect. Yeah. So these, I, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Let's give it hell? Give her hell. I mean, it's probably got oil in it. All right. I can check. I suppose I should probably do that. <laughs> oh. The dipstick's rusted in oh, place. That's really good. I, like that. oh, I can't get the dipstick okay. out. Okay. Well. Here. Oh. Mr. Pliers. Hmm, nothing. Not a thing. You got any power? Try some lights or something, maybe? I got the headlights on. Nothing. Yeah. All right, let's try another battery. All right, different battery, and we have headlight. Uh, it has no <laughs> oil. I, I did manage to, like, the Excalibur. Dust, the dust cloud that came out. <laughs> Not a damn thing. Oh. <laughs> Son of a gun, dude, this thing's a, it's a runner. Practice cherry. We're gonna be moving snow within the hour. Hell yeah, we will. Oh, I am so bad at this. 
when we get her fired. Oh no! Oh, that, that is, is used. That is used shit. oil. <laughs> oh my god! I'm dumping it everywhere. Well, it's good enough for this. Yeah, it's. I mean, perfect for this scenario. I don't know what's throwing. It's probably breaking oil from something. Now it's gonna blow up. <laughs> you know how sometimes you miss. <laughs> This one of those times? That's one of those times. It went right through the header, so we're good. It's fine. Well, let's try it again. Okay, doke. Give him a wiggle. Yeah. Oh, your wipers. What the? No. Don't do that right now. <laughs> no, we've got a... Good. We've got a pretty loose terminal here. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, damn. Try that. Oh, oh man. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> she wants all the amps. Oh my god. Oh dude, the starter... <laughs> There's magic smoke coming off the starter cable. Dang it, we let the smoke out of it. it we let the smoke now. out. I don't love the noises it's making also. We could pull the plugs and throw some oil down the cylinders. It's probably the smart move. It's raining out and it's 30 degrees, but... Well, this is your channel. If it's my channel... No, 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 we're cranking it. Get her lubed up so she spins better. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Pull some plugs. All right, first one's out. What do you think? Well, you know, the outside is bad, <laughs> but but the inside is really what counts. Look, carbon, <laughs> it's not that bad, I don't think. You know, I saw something on TikTok the other day. A guy ohmed all his plugs because he had a weird misfire under load, and one of them came out to be 80 ohms while everything else was 5. No kidding. And that was his problem. Everything else in the car was fine. I wonder how many hundreds of ohms these are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is the heat shield for the spark plug. Wow. Oh, my. <laughs> Look how white that is. That's brand new. She's men. <laughs> oh. Was that a good pop or a bad pop? That was a bad pop. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. I've, what the hell just happened? <laughs> it disintegrated. Well, there's some other Chevys or something else out here. We could probably get right. <laughs> <laughs> it snapped off before the threads. Well, it, we know we got everything out. There's nothing that dropped in the cylinder. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's just yeah. a ground strap and some ha and some threads hanging out in there. No, it's not going anywhere. I don't think. Six left now. Six left. Or se six and a half. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounded good. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a, that's a good one. Chevy's will run on seven, no problem. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's raining out, and uh, the camera doesn't love it. It's a little, <laughs> little fog. Uh, hey, come up to Iowa. <laughs> yeah. In January. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I love it. <laughs> Winter Wonderland. <laughs> this is the content you get on his channel. You gotta subscribe. And my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> the angle of the dangle here is I think it's about a 45 gets her in there <laughs> our plugs all looked well terrible if I'm being honest this one had a little rust on her so maybe that's our squeaky cylinder who knows we'll get these cylinders filled up and try her again this is why I love collaborations on YouTube I just get to be the cameraman and make witty remarks well they do everything <laughs> Well, there's two out of four. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it looks better already, though. It does. <laughs> Speaking of looks, we're standing here looking at this thing while the tire is airing up, and you notice something. Yeah. So the truck is orange under the black. Right here, it's got like a Mako Earl Scheib spray job on it. But what they did, and what any especially good hack painter would do, is mask off the sports stripe and then spray the black on it. And most places here, the black is actually higher than the white and it's got overspray on it right here yeah, you can see that one on camera from here yeah <laughs> yeah so they must have laid their tape on here probably ran a razor blade down it to keep the stripe and then earl shied the thing hmm still don't know if this is truly a sport or not i'm sure you might be able to figure it out when you get it down to your place maybe it's like 10 different trucks so. <laughs> <laughs> it could very well be most of these are uh, yeah that's the ag hitch oh. so you're pulling your you know drain trailers <laughs> with your whatever the hell this truck's <laughs> supposed to be be able to pull locks right here in theory and then move it side to side you back up to your trailer you're off a little bit then you oh. swing your hitch over and then when you pull forward it locks itself back in which is that that same i think i don't think that's orange paint i think that's that red oxidized primer, primer. yeah it's all over that uh 
spring. <laughs> oh yeah. Or shackle well. right there. What the hell? Well, we got three out of four tires. We got seven out of eight cylinders. That's true. I'm gonna stand back a little bit so I don't get sprayed. She's booking. Yeah. She's gonna do just fine. Yeah, she's gonna kick off on all seven. Do we want to uh, put some brake clean in the cylinders to flush out that oil? Or do you think she'll still light? She'll still light? She'll still light. Okay. Maybe hit her one more time and flush a little more out. It's good. Let's put plugs in her. Well, I don't have any more plugs, but here's some sandpaper. Don't use it all. That's good sandpaper. That's my points cleaning paper. I mean, the budget's pretty tight around here. You think we make money off this shit? <laughs> a combined total of 1,200 bucks of cars around us right now. Oh, cleaned up like new. Holy crap, those are worn. They gap themselves. <laughs> Maybe just tap them on something Yeah, right. A little I bit. mean, we close that electrode up, it'll be fine. <laughs> it only has seven of them anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, our um, uh, remanufactured spark plugs. Would, would you call it that? Uh, yeah, we could call them that if it makes you feel better. <laughs> Putting that in, we looked at our car a little closer and got a list number off of it of 7002-1. And that, is, you, you want to tell them? Well, yeah, it's a spread bore Holly 650 carburetor, which is a direct-ish replacement for a quadrajet. So I've only ever seen, I think, one other spread bore Holly. That's that's an old school it performance very, part. It is. From that's, that definitely 70s. She ought to haul ass with her seven cylinders of fury. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got plug wires on. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Questioning that charger saying that battery is full. I don't think it is. Nope. All right, new battery. We're not messing around. We put the booster pack on already. Go for it. All right, one more booster pack. Alternate ground, second booster pack. Huh. Hang on, there's smoke coming out of the battery. This thing's just about broke all the way off. We got a new terminal in the truck. Do we want to cut a bit of the cable back? Probably wouldn't hurt. What you got down in there? Is they, were, they were pretty corroded. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say that. A little much. green? <laughs> White, even. Ooh. It was just powdered. Nice. Pablo Escobar would be proud. <laughs> Maybe this was his truck. It could have been. Marketed on marketplaces as if it was. <laughs> it's Pablo Escobar's 76 Chevy Sport truck. <laughs> Thankfully, the rain stopped. It is better, but I still can't feel my fingers. No, it's, it's miserable. It's like hell if hell was cold. Hell. No, this is Iowa. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what that doesn't do. There we go. That might do it. Ah. Huh. Oh, hang on. We got we got the magic smoke again. It yeah. popped once, I swear. All right, tighten her up a little more. Go ahead, sir. Nope. What the hell? All right, well, let's go scavenge every damn booster pack we have on the farm. <laughs> Jump them all together. Yep. This has got to work. I mean, <laughs> for sure, right? All right, we got two booster packs. What, what we assume is a full battery. What the charger told us was a full battery, but I don't touch that thing anymore. If this doesn't work, it's a cable or a starter. <laughs> smoking from down there starter starter oh it smells <laughs> it's an electrical fire <laughs> i didn't really want to do this but it looks like we're crawling under i think we're going under hey it plows Plow revival. <laughs> all right it took a little finagling but we've got our plow off and we've got a uh, jack stand. I don't know what you want to call it. Safety third. Yeah, there you go. Dalton's under here. He's pulling our starter out. We got a new starter. We got some cable. All the goods. How's it working? Rusty. <laughs> Piece of shit. God. It's going good. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a hold of that guy with the baboon, though, and oh, see if he'll take that Dodge truck. What? <laughs> I mean, I don't think the baboon is worth a Plymouth Roadrunner, but it's, <laughs> it's worth a D100. I, I, I think that's fair. For context, Dalton was selling his rolled runner, which was a rolled uh, Plymouth Roadrunner. He finished it and was selling it on Marketplace, and some guy messaged him, will you trade this for a taxidermy baboon? And it was straight up a taxidermy baboon. It wasn't $3,200. And a baboon. It was just <laughs> this monkey on a wall hanging on a stick. I probably should have taken it. They're hot right now. <laughs> All right. New wire. And a new starter, which I definitely did not steal from Mook. Which, I mean, I think I bought this. It was on the Nova. There you are. Thank you. The other starter was staggered bolts. Is this different? I don't know. They might have both. Some of them, you know, only have straight, and some of them are staggered. Oh, so this isn't going to work. Well... It this might. Two bolt holes yeah, in the some block? of them are double drilled. But you want to look for this, you want to count the teeth. As long as the other hole's there, it'll be fine. Story of my life. <laughs> well. Six cylinder starter is different, apparently. And the nose cone is too big. And doesn't fit in the inspection housing. We're out of daylight at this point, so. Yeah. And it's getting cold fast. It so is I, getting pretty cold out here. I say we pack our stuff up and Get it enjoy tomorrow. New Year's Eve. Sounds good to me. Alright, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, sir. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I'm really good. I thought they didn't have moonshine in Iowa. That's right, welcome to 2023, everyone. Uh, we went out, had some supper at the bar last night, and then the neighbors had a party, and I feel great. I was overconfident. <laughs> you ready to crawl uh, crawl under a nice wet truck first thing in the morning? Yeah, that's this is what I've been looking forward to. If I fall asleep under there... I'll leave you for a bit. Okay. I'm going to work on getting these tires reinflated again while he's doing that. It's slow morning here at the <laughs> junkyard digs facility. Warm up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Got some air in the tires. That one actually held. So one out of four. Or three, I guess. That's what Meat Love said. <laughs> Two out of three, eight, While Dalton's dealing with the starter, I'm going to attack our spark plug mayhem that we got going on up here. Our dilemma, I think that's the word I'm looking for. This is a nut extractor. I'm going to pound him in to get the teeth to bite. And then I'll use a wrench and try to extract him. Hmm, this might be a two-hand job. I'll be back. Well, I was right. It was absolutely a two-hand job. It was everything I had with another wrench on this wrench leaning on it. But she's turning, so I actually got the threads out. And that means we can actually put a spark plug in here. Well, I'll tell you what, we got lucky getting that out, but we, we got doubly lucky that it just moved the ground strap out of the way and didn't snap it off. I didn't even think of that. Either way, that means we've got that whole spark plug out. There's nothing down in that cylinder, so I'm good to put a new plug in. Let's do it. All right, good to go. That's Eight. one brand new spark plug. One in brand new. It'll have one good hole. Let's not go that far. <laughs> what the hell is this doing back here? Oh, this is appropriate. Here you go, Dalton. You might need this auto metal direct sticker. I just found <laughs> it. <laughs> is that how this works? We just put this on and the parts start coming. I think you put it over the rust holes and it looks better. There. Yeah, you can't even tell there's rust under that. That's a brand new AMD fender. These guys actually have some awesome parts. Check them out, autometaldirect.com. Send me stuff. Did you say send me stuff? <laughs> I need it. All right, let's see if this actually spins now. What? How? Is it, I mean, the battery might have went dead overnight. Well. All right, battery number seven. Oh, hey, dude. It just tried to run. Yeah, it just tried to start. Okay, I'll take that. Go ahead, sir. that battery didn't have a lot left in it. Okay. Now I'll grab the booster pack. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. No fire. It fired for a second. With nothing. With nothing. And now, no matter how much air or fuel we give it, still nothing. Oil module. Battered oil on plugs since they were still kind of wet cylinders? Could be. We should just put the new plugs in first and see what that does. Undo that? Yeah. What are we looking at? 
Or oil. <laughs> they're a little wet. A little wet. That's I didn't mention it yesterday. We were like, heck it, and sure enough, a bit is in the ass. Yeah. I like to flush the cylinders out with brake clean after oil them, so yeah. they don't do that. No, you were right. Plugs are out. We got our cylinders filled with some brake clean. Now we just got to hold the throttle wide open, wing the motor over, flush all those holes out until we don't see any more moisture, and it should get all the extra oil that we dumped in there out, along with any uh, carbon stuff that might have stuck to the top and dropped off. Flush all that out, keep our plugs from fouling, and we'll be good to go. Because, yeah, as you can see, even the one I just put in there, all full of junk. We found one bad plug wire. Dalton's changing that out right now. Once that's all done, we'll throw some plugs back in, and we'll give her another go. Try that. What the hell? <laughs> I just went and got this battery. This is just not our weekend for batteries. It was so cold here, I think it killed a lot of my batteries. Oh yeah, there's, there's crap flying out. Keep going. All right, we need more juice. I think that'll do her. She's probably dry now. All right, plugs back in. Try it again. Attempt 38. Oh, you good thing, come on. Uh, give her some air. I think she fouled them up again. I'll try to flush it out maybe. I don't know. Dang it. It ran for a second and then I didn't get feeling it or something fast enough and it fouled them up again. You could hear them drop off yeah. until we got nothing. At least they're easy to get to. They're not bad. Alright, do it again. There's a bunch of stuff flying around the cylinders because they are dirty already. This one, for example, is literally bridged between the electrode and the ground strap, so that would have never made spark. So I think we just need to clean these cylinders out a little more. It's all that carbon and stuff is breaking loose. Once that's out of there and dry, she should run. Where's the finger tap for the glove box? Oh, dude. <laughs> that's really cool. That's awesome. Plugs are in once again. We're going to just commit to this one. If it starts making noise, Dalton's going to run throttle. I'm going to match him on fuel, and we're going to clear this bitch out. Yep. Go ahead. I think that was the fan. Oh, I think we got a training line splooging. <laughs> <laughs> Might have had a sticky valve or a plug wire backwards. It was blowing fire out the top, and then it just went. <laughs> I got peppered with rust. Oh, she's smoking out the back. <laughs> I'm going to guess the noise. Oh, the noise was this plug wire fell down into the fan. What was the noise i think so that training line was leaking i mean it was dripping on me when i was putting the starter on I see. yeah it's puking is it yeah well i got some 3 8 line and some rubber hose cut it splice it you want to deal with the fan shroud i'll deal with that sure let's do it all right it's been a little bit we've both been in very uncomfortable positions under this truck for some time i put in a new section of trans cooler line we've got ourselves a fuel system we've got soft line running from the pump up to our carb that we're definitely gonna have to rebuild still. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's worked really good so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it runs over here, down and around, through here, and into a fuel can. Let's see what she does. All right. Good. Oh, come on. Hey guys, are <laughs> hell of a pump on that thing. Work, you good thing. Yeah, just idle. Yep. Now the front one. <laughs> Try that. Yep. Damn. That float is big time sticking. That ought to do it. It's so flooded now. Okay, <laughs> we might have to pull a carb already. 
trying to salvage this gasket. I, I don't. Uh, if you pull this off, I'll be impressed. Especially since it's probably like 20 years old. I ripped it right in half. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All that power valve is seized. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck up in there. All kinds of gum around it. Our power valve uh, gasket, obviously, I just broke. So, well, carb rebuild. To the shop. To the shop. Or to the parts bin. In a wild bass backwards change of events. Back to a quadrajack. We're good. <laughs> We're swapping a holly for a quadrajack. This is, I think, the carb I got on the Firebird years ago. It's like really clean, Rayman carb. It'll do just fine on there. So, we'll get her bolted on and try her again. Keeping that phenolic spacer, you know, for the extra ponies. <laughs> yeah, for, for the performance. <laughs> Wait, why are you held up? No, I don't. I think I'm gonna have to take the spacer off. Dang it. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, you can keep the phenolic spacer. Really? Yeah, it's all yours. <laughs> True gift from friends. Don't say I never did anything for you. <laughs> all right, let's get this bolted on and give her a try. Oh, big fireball. Good start. <laughs> give me that. Hang on, hang on. Won't crank out? No, it's going backwards. <laughs> There, fix. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> it runs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. What's stuck? Fast idle? Like a lot of it? Maybe. I, it, <laughs> dude, it came on so fast it pulled the fan shroud back. It like sucked it open. <laughs> it was like, whoa. <laughs> I don't really see anything. But Still doesn't move. It is sit. It's sitting on its idle screw. Are the secondaries stuck open for some reason? That was all the RPM. <laughs> Ran clean. Didn't make any engine noise. No, runs good. <laughs> runs too good. Rears are closed. Fronts. Hmm. All right, we'll keep poking around. See what we can find. All right, we think our our zip tie throttle link is was a little too tight, so we put a looser one on like that. Let's see if it'll idle now. I'm scared. I'm gonna stand back. What is going on? I don't know. Why does it run too good? <laughs> <laughs> wow. We got rid of the spacer, so I mean, there shouldn't be anything hung up. Why would a quadrajet be scraping on the it's factory on, intake? Yeah, it's on its manifold. own intake, yeah. so. All right, we messed with the high idle and uh, unplugged the advance. Let's see what this does. gears no nothing can't get the t case in gear yeah it's stuck we, fi lot. we fought this on phoenixes it was the stuff down there gets all jumbled up with the rust i can't imagine that being the case here <laughs> <laughs> well dalton what's the verdict it's rusty <laughs> i don't know man we got to get this transfer case just connected somehow so we can even try to move it it's all seized up in yep. the shifter. Uh, as you can tell, it's getting a little too dark to film, so we're probably gonna have to try this in the morning. We'll see you guys then. Good morning, sir. Welcome to day three of our quick one day project. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're on the same page I'm on. Let's get this damn thing done. I have the pieces to put back on it. That's okay, true. so we're not ruining anything. I, I got everything. I mean, it's, it's okay. 
<laughs> we just need it to move. <laughs> <laughs> Dalton's gonna head under there and trim our rods. He's gonna cut them clean in half so that they're not in the way anymore. We're gonna try to pound the transfer case into a forward gear of sorts. Something, anything would be good at this and, point. And we'll try this again. Yeah. the Kansas City area ever has any of these trucks for parts or parts for these trucks let Dalton know yeah I might need a couple Dalton how do they get a hold of you uh, they could go to my channel page on the about section I got all kinds of uh, information there you can shoot me an email at dale the stock car driver at gmail.com <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah one. that's really my email <laughs> Or you can DM me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. I'll I'll read it. Unless it's mean. It moved. Did it? Yeah, I don't know how much it's supposed to move, but it did move. Alright, we'll play with it. And we'll be back when we're ready. Oh, I got it. You got it? I got it. Oh, yeah. you got it. Well, that was the outside one. That's what that's, we wanted. Yeah, right? that's what we want. That should be the range. Okay. Alright, sweet. We Let's try it again. Oh, my God. Probably just shoot the stuff out the exhaust. Well, no, we definitely shot everything out the exhaust yesterday at the time it went to four Not. grand. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. <laughs> well, you spun that front tire and it spun like a square. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah so, those are those optional square tires. Drag her out. Drag her out with the tractor before we burn a trans out of it. the bumper <laughs> it, it slid it walked on this tire and it came over and missed everything by an eighth inch and just wiggled the bumper a little smoke and noise and the trucks doing this <laughs> like what is going on will this chevy truck run and drive 20 feet so far <laughs> we're not gonna break a single one those wheels are worth at least three times as much as this truck <laughs> it's like 300 bucks <laughs> now the big question will the tire come off oh that was too easy what is going on <laughs> I've never seen what? drums rust out that bad. Oh my god. No wonder it doesn't spin. Alright, well, let's get the sledgehammer and crack it in half. I don't think that'll be too hard. This guy is an absolute madman on his Cushman.
<laughs> we use the split inside or the. <laughs> I learned this from Misfit Toys on YouTube, awesome YouTube channel. Uh, I was on that off road Bronco build we did. I had a seized rotor. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to deal with that. He's like, well, it's cast iron, right? He's like, just split it with a sledgehammer, it'll crack. <laughs> you had to say it, huh? Damn hey, now we only need to find a five lug rim. Drum looks like it's moving. Oh, there you go. That was a good hit. Ta da! It looks fine in here. Good as new. Yeah, beautiful. Now we just steal her rim off the last truck from that property we haven't done a video on. It's meant to be. All right, a slight adjustment of plans has occurred. We couldn't get our front tire to air up worth the crap, so we went, dug some tires out of a truck that were over there, took them to town, swapped them on the rims, so now you should have four tires to hold air. And more importantly than all that, got yourself a set of pliers with a holster right there. That's right. Oh, the quick draw. Whoa, oh, I got a ways to go. <laughs> I'm telling you, that'll I'm, change your life. I believe, I already feel better. I mean, I already... <laughs> feel equipped? Yeah, feel like you I do. tackle anything? Yeah, I do, I mean, I... The worst part's when you reach down and they're not there and you feel naked. <laughs> like you might as well not have any pants on. <laughs> You'll get there. We'll get there. That'll make more sense someday. Ooh. 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 Right, there we that's going that's gonna be pretty good. Draw is getting a little better. We need one of those one of those things that goes beep. And then you <laughs> and times you. Oh, oh, oh. I just died. <laughs> How's our power steering level? Well, let's find out. Uh nothing. <laughs> the original GM goodness. It came equipped with this, so seems only right. Seems like it's just pee. It's a urine jug. Whoa. Oh well. <laughs> it's 10.30. It'll work the same. Can't compress a liquid. That's how hydraulics work. Welcome to science class, everyone. <laughs> science with Dalton. No. Dalton, you don't man, want that the science class. guy. That takes credits away from you in school. <laughs> there, we've scienced our way back to having Probably just a pump that whines really loud. <laughs> now it ruined all your video audio. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, step forward. Hey, there's a verse. Okay. There's the pump. Maybe it really is a sport. <laughs> I gotta catch him. Doing good.
now. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, she doesn't do donuts. No, but the four-wheel drive works. It does work. There is one thing we can attempt with this yet. The drift. The drift. Girl E. That is cool. <laughs> there it diesel finally. Okay, that's a lot. All the RPMs. I'd say it works. <laughs> it maybe she got right through that. Never, ever down a rusty piece of crap square body Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. And with that being said, that's going to do it for this episode of Junkyard Digs. If you want to see the rest of the story on this truck, which is quite the story yet to be told, make sure you head to Dalton's channel right here on YouTube, Pole Barn Garage. He's got some awesome content over there. Really appreciate it if you guys would show him some support and, you know, help him help him with his hobbies and his cars and let's get some of these rigs back going you know yeah. like this one I, you yeah. save the stuff that anymore i leave behind so yeah, like the rolled go. runner his gto the holy, holy goat. goat i don't even know if we mentioned that that's probably your flagship car that people recognize for sure the gto with like seven thousand bullet holes in it because it spent 40 years on a firing range and this guy went and got it running and driving and drives it all over the place now so it's it's that level of fun. So make sure you check out Dalton's channel, Pole Barn Garage, see the rest of this, see the rest of everything he does. Dalton, thank you very much for your help awesome. on this. Enjoy your truck. She's all your problem now. Uh, From us here at Junkyard Digs, I hope you guys have a happy new year, a great 2023, and we'll see you right here next week for another episode. Peace. Of crap. Now get it out of my yard. <laughs> She's all loaded up, pulling a square body home with a square body. I'm gonna say it again, you guys absolutely need to go check out the video, if for nothing else, to see <laughs> Dalton <laughs> attempting to load this stuck at three grand, where park is now reversed for some reason. Probably the funniest thing I've ever filmed. Go check him out, Pull Barn Garage on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Peace.